The curlew is Europe's largest wading bird with an extraordinary curved bill and a haunting call. They return to our shores towards the end of summer from Scandinavia and Russia, while those that spent the summer in the New Forest will head further south for the winter to France and Spain. Their bubbling call is unmistakable and throughout the winter you have a good chance of hearing it when visiting the coast. Listen to this one calling, filmed by one of our rangers through a telescope. Curlews are renowned for the distinctive shape of their bills. They are long, curved and flexible, making it an excellent tool for delving deep into the mud and plucking out tasty lugworms and cockles. In fact, their scientific name, Numenius aquata, refers to their bill. It means of the new moon. It's possible this curvature makes it easier for curlews to get to hard to reach places like worm burrows. If you watch a curlew foraging, you may see them twisting and turning their heads in an effort to extract their prey from awkward places. The tip of a curlew's bill is slightly enlarged and is packed full of nerve endings that are highly sensitive to pressure, which means that they can detect the slightest of movements, including bubbles emitted by animals they want to feed on. This gives the curlews a vital clue to their location. It's thought they may be able to detect where creatures are hiding based on pressure waves felt when they plunge their bills into the mud. Any obstacle would alter the pressure at a specific point, directing the curlew to its next meal. Their diet varies depending on the season. In the winter, along our Solent coastlines, they use their long bills to probe into soft coastal mud for crabs, ragworms, lugworms, cockles, marine snails, shrimps and small shellfish. One of our rangers spotted this curlew through his telescope. Look at the way it deftly snips off each crab's leg to make it easier to swallow. While in the summer, away from the coastline, they feed on non-marine foods, such as insects and larvae, spiders and worms. Curlews are sometimes mistaken for whimbrels. These are passage migrants, which pass through our shores on the way to and from further distant overwintering sites and they can look very similar to curlews. They are a bit smaller than curlews, at about 40 to 45 centimetres long, compared with curlews length of 50 to 60 centimetres long. Generally, Wimbrel's bills are shorter than curlews and they are said to be more abruptly bent at the tip. They have a straight bill with a bend at the end rather than curlew's uniformly curved bills. And compared to a curlew, wimbrel tend to have a stronger head pattern with two dark bands on their crowns separated by a narrower pale centre stripe. Most distinctly, wimbrels have a call which, more often than not, consists of seven notes. Quite different from Curlew's beautiful, mournful call. Female Curlews are larger than the males and they also have a relatively much longer bill and they can look more curved as a result. This difference in length is thought to help reduce competition for food between mates. Luckily for us, Curlews are a common winter visitor to the Solent with around 2,000 along the coast at any one time. Winter numbers are relatively stable. However, their breeding numbers have declined. The curlew is red listed in the UK, which means their numbers have reduced worryingly in recent years. And they are a qualifying feature for the Chichester and Langston Harbour Special Protection Area. That means when the site was designated, a nationally significant number used these coastlines in the winter. 